pH preparation. Open up the connector protection cap. The meter will automatically switch to pH mode. Connect the pH electrode to the 8-pin connector. Tighten the metal ring. Never twist the black rubber part to avoid damage. Short press on to power on. Short press enter to turn on or turn off the backlight. Loosen the electrode storage bottle and then twist it off. Do not pull it down directly in case of damage. Short press mode to change between pH and MV mode. Long press mode to enter parameter settings. Short press mode again to change from P1 to P2, all the way to P7. Short press Cal or M plus to adjust parameter settings. Press Enter to confirm the setting and return to measurement mode. pH Calibration Rinse off the electrode in distilled water. Shake off excess water or blot dry with a clean tissue. Insert the electrode into pH 7 solution. Make a quick stir and let it stand. Short press Cal to enter first point calibration, C1 blinking. When the reading gets fully stabilized and the smiley face stays on screen, press help button again to finish the first point calibration. 7.00 starts blinking. The blinking C2 means first point calibration is finished and the meter is entering second point calibration. Rinse off the electrode in distilled water. Follow the same procedure to calibrate second point in pH 4 solution. When the reading is fully stabilized and the smiley face stays on screen, press Cal to finish second point calibration. The blinking C3 means the second point calibration is finished and the meter is entering the third point calibration. Follow the same procedure to calibrate the third point in pH 10 solution. After it's finished, the meter automatically returns to measurement mode. The L, M, H icons at the bottom left indicate the three points of calibrations are all successful. pH measurement. Rinse off the electrode with distilled water and remove excess water. Insert the electrode into the sample solution. Make a quick stir and let it stand. When the reading gets fully stabilized and smiley face stays on screen, short press M plus to save the measurement. Long press M plus to recall the saved data. In recalling mode, short press M plus to check the saved data one by one. Long press M plus to quickly browse the data. After use, rinse off the electrode in distilled water. and place it in the storage bottle containing 3MKCL soaking solution. Just so the pH sensor can be maintained at a good condition. Disconnect the electrode. Loosen the metal ring first, then pull off the electrode. Short press off button to power off. Close on the protection cap to keep the connector clean and dry. ORP Preparation 
Open up the connector protection cap. Connect 3L1 PT SORP electrode. Make sure to align the notches when connecting. Tighten the metal ring. Never twist the black rubber part to avoid damage. Short press on to power on. Short press enter to turn on or turn off the backlight. The meter automatically switches to ORP mode. Loosen the storage bottle cap and twist it off. ORP accuracy check. ORP measurement doesn't need calibration. You can use the ORP standard solution to check the accuracy. Rinse off the electrode and test in the 222MV standard solution. When the reading is within 15 millivolts of the standard value, the meter and electrode are in good condition. ORP measurement. Rinse off the electrode in distilled water and shake off excess water. Insert the electrode into the sample solution, make a quick stir, and let it stand. When the reading gets fully stabilized and the smiley face stays on screen, short press M plus to save the measurement data. After measurement, rinse off the electrode in distilled water and shake off excess water. Place the electrode in the storage bottle. Disconnect ORP electrode. Loosen the metal ring first, then pull off the electrode. Short press off to power off. Close on the protection cap to keep the connector clean and dry.